What's special about this celebrity guest is that he's dead. <laughs> no, no, it's a big achievement. He came through the snow, through the border. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome Mr. Johnny Cash. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. I keep my eyes wide open all the time I keep the ends up for the time and the mind Because you're mine, I want the line Okay folks, that y'all That, of course, y'all recognize as I Walk the Line, which is a very famous song written by Johnny Cash, by me. I wrote that when I was in Nashville. I left Nashville, I moved to Montreal, and then bought a house in Stoke. And everything changed after that. They didn't call me Johnny Cash, they called me Johnny Ashke. And that was the first thing. And of course, I would drive down the border every weekend with my calculator, 162, 163, and I kept track of all my days. And when I get her, we talk about the border people. I had a great gal. She was fabulous. She let me go right away. Nothing. Two weeks ago, I had this miserable son of a bitch. He took the car apart. He wanted to know where I lived. He went on my car. It was like a Nazi bastard. But you never know who the hell you get at the border. So, of course, I got here and moved to Stowe for the weekend. And what do you do when you come to Stowe for the first time? You join Jaycogs. <laughs> I'm not even Jewish, but they told me how to join Jaycox. It cost a fortune, I don't use it. And of course, I spent every weekend with Michael and Patsy at their weekly dinner parties. So I was down here and I said, you know what? I have to join a group of guys who are pretty tough guys. I wanted to do something really interesting. So I found a bunch of guys to do mountain biking. And I joined this group. And I said, you know what, I think I'm going to write a song about this group. It's called Ode to the Bikers of Stowe. <laughs> There is a group in so that's not too bright. They look for trails with lots of rocks and heights. Each rider strives to be leader if he can, to prove he's really one hell of a man. Good job, everybody. Whoa, number two. There's one who always wants to try new trails Which is okay unless his memory fails But they never will be lost for very long Since you know who will sing his golden song Good job, number three some days the guys come home weeping and sore It is a shock when they walk through the door But then they say I'm really okay It was a bit of a tough ride today Whoa, what a team! There are two things we must report. We have a rider with a new number one sport. Another carrying his bikes with down the borders. And then they love coming down on someone's shoulders. Whoa. He has no charges run up every day, including courts where tennis he may play. Good job. 
We can forget posters, cats, and cows that call. Who's having a career is really taking off. Not so much. On biking trails, she does not come along. Therefore, she will be in the next song. Good job, everyone. Wow. And most of us are storing biking gear and getting ready for a great year. There are two really interesting guys down snowy trails on that fire by tail fire. Slow to all the fighters and their families so keen. We wish a wonderful 60s and House of the Rising Sun. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very, very happy and surprised to say that we have Eric Bourdon, lead singer for the animals, right here. <laughs> Patsy, great hostess, bacon and eggs, delicious. Your son should only know. <laughs> Steve, good to see you again. Merv, how are we doing? Very good to see you. I'm a little nervous. You know, in the cab, you're never nervous. You know, I'm nervous more than nervous. You know, you can do it. You know what I'm saying, Eric? I always trust you. You know, I think any time, I think you can do it. Slow. It was slow. Think you can do it. I think you can do it. A group of elderly Jews. They call themselves Stowello. They're led with skill by Barbara and Jack, who aren't always so mellow. <laughs> the group goes back for many a year. They ride with great aplomb. They start each day with skill. At straight, at the end, their privates are numb. <laughs> You're great. <laughs> there are great feats of speed and skill performed by my Patsy and Lynn. For <laughs> some of us, the road is steep because we don't have the strength to begin. <laughs> Three times we've gone to Saratoga and Lenox to ride and see the arts. These trips are planned by Marvin, Susan and Jack just to please a bunch of old farts. 
with Sarah, Bill, and Angie. Gloria, Ken, Alice, and Stan. Gilwell, Ilsa, Ezra, Marley. And don't forget Hart, <coughs> Diane, where are you? <laughs> there is no hill too tough for Bird with Barbara close in tow. There is no way the group could keep up except that he stops to go. <laughs> so this is an ode to Stowe Bellow. We hope it is to your liking. We know you can't wait for snow to melt, to squeeze into spandex for my king. <laughs> Our first song, Ode to the Bikers of Stowe, was written by Gloria Sternthal and uh, Michael Bolton was recently called. They want you to do something right? Yeah. yeah. That works, that works. Our second song was written by Calvin Melman. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Calvin used to write songs and used to write poems and used to write little skits for his medical class. <laughs> but what's most important about Calvin is his wife, Carol Melman. <laughs> Carol forced Calvin to do this. <laughs> and of course, Yvonne Felder. Martha's never sung it. She told Arthur, you're a great singer. You're sexy. You're like an Adonis. You're built like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Another thank you to my husband, Michael, who is technical director of Stagecraft, and without whom nothing happens. <laughs> Thank you very much for indulging my private fantasy. Thank you to the cast and crew for indulging this fantasy. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.